Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. Going to do a little bit of a departure today. We're not going to uh, so much do a build update as we are maybe a tip and trick. I get a lot of inquiries asking me about what paints and glues I use. So uh, I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to show you some of my favorites. So let's start with uh, glues. Now, uh, specifically, what I'm gonna talk about is the workhorse of uh, kit assembly, and that's cyanoacrylate glue, uh, better known as super glue. Now, you can get, uh, you know, sort of commercial grade uh, epoxies and, and uh, super glues from your local home improvement store, but if you really want high quality, stable glues, you're gonna have to spring for the good stuff. And uh, over the course of the years, uh, kind of settled on my favorite, and this is from a company uh, called Star Bond. The, uh, the big thing about them is the glues stay stable over time, uh, and when you order them, they're guaranteed to be fresh, uh, manufactured, I believe, within 30 days of purchase date, which is pretty important because uh, these can absorb moisture over time and uh, then they lose their primary characteristics that make a super glue. So Starbond uh, manufactures uh, about five different viscosities of super glue and each one of them has their own sort of unique application in a model building scenario. So let's take a minute, we'll go through each one and what I would typically use them for. All right, we are going to start with uh, thin. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention here, they come in different size bottles. This is a two ounce bottle. Now, if you're gonna be purchasing this for a one-time build, I would actually recommend a one ounce bottle because uh, you know once they're opened, they do have a shelf life. And uh, if you don't go through all of the adhesive, it's better to start from a fresh bottle on your next project. But uh, two ounce bottle, we're gonna start talking about thin. Thin CA uh, really is utilized for adhering high detail small parts together that have extremely flush faces with no gaps in between. One of the cool things about this is it bonds virtually instantaneously. So let's take a look at what this looks like. If you were to apply it to, uh, to just a board here right now, the viscosity is basically like water. You can see it flowing just like water. So it's going to get sucked into the seam. It's gonna flow through uh, using capillary action and it's gonna create a nice uh, bond on those parts. So the next one we're gonna talk about is the, uh, the medium formula. And again, this is a clear formulation and it's just a little bit thicker than the thin CA glue. I would actually use this in the same sort of an application, but maybe where the seam between the parts uh, is a little bit more open uh, and not perfectly flush. So take a look at the difference uh, in the viscosity there. So you can see I applied it, it's still gonna drip. It's just gonna drip you know, a little slower than, uh, than the thin CA is. Uh, good, you know, medium viscosity, sort of uh, workhorse CA that you would use in a lot of different applications. Working up the viscosity ladder here, we now go to medium thick. So again, if you've got parts where now you're starting to see a little bit of a gap uh, between them, this is what you're gonna wanna start uh, seeing utilized to adhere those parts together. And uh, we'll show you what that looks like. Same sort of deal, it's flowing a little bit slower. It's gonna fill a little bit better. All right, the next one is actually my personal favorite and I use this all the time in my builds. This is medium thick, so same viscosity as the previous one. But the neat thing about this is it is actually reinforced with rubber particles. Now, cyanoacrylate glue is actually very brittle, so it holds very, very well initially, but if it is subjected to shock, it can actually shatter. But what this does with that rubber reinforcing, uh, it creates a little bit more of a flexible 
bond. So this is really, really good for adhering bulkheads and brackets. So let's take a look at what that looks like when we uh, apply this. Same viscosity as the, uh, as the medium thick. You can see that color there, black. Uh, and again, that's a rubber reinforced cyanoacrylate for more uh, high impact applications. And the last one that we are going to talk about is uh, thick formula. So this is the gap filler. This is if you've got two big meaty pieces with, you know, like a, like a 1 16th inch gap in between them and you want to glue them together. So uh, let's take a look at that viscosity. You know, it's, it's almost like a gel, very thick, flows very slowly, and again, is gonna fill those gaps for you. All right, the last product that we're gonna talk about is actually Accelerator, and uh, this is actually new to me. I just found this. Um, Accelerator basically cures cyanoacrylate instantaneously. Now, traditionally, um, what I use is something like this. This is a Bob Smith product, a uh, little squirt bottle. And the other thing that you can do is actually take the, the top off and just, and just drip the accelerator onto the joints that you're trying to, uh, to cure. So that I would probably still recommend uh, for precise application of accelerator. But the neat thing about this is if you do have um, you know, larger pieces, big seams, you can hit it with this spray accelerator and it'll cure all of this. So this is all still uh, liquid and we're just gonna give it a little spray and, uh, and virtually instantaneously what you're gonna see is all of these uh, cyanoacrylates are now basically completely cured, um, solidified, hardened, and uh, your bond has been made permanent. So there you go, guys. This is uh, sort of the complete gamut of cyanoacrylate glues that I have really fallen in love with from Starbond, uh, available in one ounce and two ounce bottles in various viscosities. If I were to give you some advice, make sure you pick up uh, a bottle of the thin, a bottle of the medium thick uh, reinforced, black and I would probably spring for a bottle of the medium. Between those three, you will have everything that you need to put almost any model together that you want. Now, if you wanna pick up some of this bottle, uh, these bottles, I've got some good news. You can now do so through the nautilusdrydocks.com. We're an affiliate of Starbond and uh, you can purchase your glue directly from Starbond and we get a little tiny kickback every time you do. So the link is on my website and the uh, uh, direct link I will put in the description of this video. So you can jump straight over there, uh, buy your glue, get what you want. And uh, hey, I get a little bit of money to help making cool content for you guys. Let's move on to paints. Now, uh, in a lot of my videos, I go into the idea that you can use rattle can paint uh, to paint almost any submarine. But when you really get into doing a more professional job of assembling them, you want to use proper paints. And uh, ones that I have really fallen in love with are these Vallejo uh, paints. And two sets in particular I really, really like. Uh, and obviously it pertains specifically to our hobby. One is the nuclear submarine uh, paint spectrum and the other one is a Kriegsmarine World War II German. So all of those German U-boats, um, you're gonna find the paint selection within this kit. Nuclear submarines is the same sort of thing. This is gonna get you like 90% of the world's navies for nuclear submarines. These are acrylic paints, so they clean up with water and uh, the neat thing about them is you can use them either directly with a brush or if you put just a drop or two of water in before you uh, spray it, you can use it in an airbrush too. These cover so well and they make a great finish. I love them. Uh, again, this is a, you know, a Vallejo paint. They come in these little one ounce um, bottles. Um, the sets are actually not overly expensive because you do end up with eight bottles 
uh, per set. So that's actually a, a pretty good deal. What I would uh, recommend, grab um, you know one that pertains to your subject, be it a modern nuclear submarine or a more uh, you know like a World War II fleet boat, uh, and give it a try. Uh, again, like I said, you can use paintbrushes or an airbrush for a really professional finish. They work great. You can one coat almost anything, clean it up with water and uh, they work great. So again, if you need those, they're available at nautilusdrydocks.com. Got a new section just for paints and glues. Uh, check it out. So there you go, guys. Just a little bit of an insight to some of my favorite paints and glues uh, that you can utilize too and I've made now available to you on my website at thenautilusdrydocks.com. Really appreciate you. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, email me anytime, bob at rc-sub. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe if you like this. We'll put more content out on a regular basis. Thanks, everyone. We'll catch you next time.